And welcome to Mastermind with me, John Humphreys. Our contenders tonight will be answering questions on the films of a director noted for his great attention to detail, an international rugby team, the literary works of one of the bright young things, and the life of the last Plantagenet king. Different subjects, same chair. It looks comfortable, but that's not how it feels when you're under the pressure of the spotlight and the clock. Two minutes of specialist questions, two and a half of general knowledge. So, let's get on with it and ask our first contender to join us, please. And your name is? Oliver Forrest. Your occupation? Civil servant. And your chosen subject? The films of Wes Anderson. Ah, the director, best known, I suppose, for Grand Budapest Hotel in... Two minutes starting now. Which actor co-wrote the crime comedy Bottle Rocket with Anderson and appears in the film as Dignan? Owen Wilson. Yep. In Isle of Dogs, what's the name of the Japanese dynasty that has declared war on dogs and has the canine population of the city of Megasaki consigned to Trash Island? Kobayashi. Yep. At which hotel has Royal Tenenbaum been living for 22 years before he returns to the family home and claims that he's dying? The Lindbergh Palace. Yep. At what rural station are the Whitman brothers thrown off the Darjeeling Limited train for various offences, such as bringing a poisonous snake on board? Uh, Gujua. No, Jelana. What is the name of the accomplished cousin who comes to save the foxes in Fantastic Mr Fox and is later held to ransom by the angry farmers? Christopherson. Yep. When Eli crashes his car, he accidentally kills the Tenenbaum family dog. What was the name of the dog? Buckley. Yep. Who plays the authoritarian character referred to only as social services in the film Moonrise Kingdom? Tilda Swinton. Yep. What is the name of the scent liberally worn by Monsieur Gustave, the concierge of the Grand Budapest Hotel? Laird Panache. Yep. What name does the oceanographer Steve Zissou give to the species of shark that kills his friend and colleague Esteban Duplantier? The jaguar shark. Yep. What is the name of the little pilot who crash lands on Trash Island in Isle of Dogs while he's searching for his guardian dog Spots? Atari. Yep. In Bottle Rocket, Anthony Adams becomes attracted to a maid called Inyet when he stays at a motel. What country is Inyet originally from? Paraguay. Yep. What is the title of the valuable painting bequeathed to Monsieur Gustave by Madame D in her will? In order to get it away from her family, he's forced to steal it. Boy with apple? Yep. At the end of the Darjeeling Limited, what is the name of the train that the Whitman brothers run to catch after they have finally visited their mother in a convent? The Bengal Lancer. Yes. What is the name of the pupil at Rushmore Academy, played by Jason Schwartzman, who is put on academic probation because his large number of extracurricular activities have affected his grades. Max Fisher. Yep. In Fantastic Mr Fox, what type of fruit does Mr Fox lace with sleeping powder to put the beagles to sleep on his mission to seal Farmer Boggus' chickens? Blueberries. Correct. And you're out of time and you had no passes and you've scored, Oliver, 14 points. Next contender, please. And your name is? Leslie Bowen. Your occupation? Customer service assistant. And your chosen subject? Richard III. The king who ruled from 1483 to his death in the Battle of Bosworth Field. Two minutes on him starting now. Which dukedom was Richard elevated to by his brother, King Edward IV, in 1461? Gloucester. Yeah. What is the usual English translation of Richard's personal motto, Loyalty me lie? Loyalty binds. Yes. What was the name of the elder son of Richard's sister, Elizabeth, who was regarded as heir apparent after the death of the Prince of Wales in 1484? John de la Pole? Yes, old Earl of Lincoln. At which town did Richard take possession of Edward V as the king made his way to London for his coronation? Stony Stratford. Yes, at which battle fought on the 4th of May 1471 did Richard command the vanguard of the Yorkist army? Prince Edward, the son of King Henry VI, died during the fighting. Tewkesbury. Yep. Richard established a religious college on one of his estates in North Yorkshire in 1478. Which estate? Middleham. Yep. Who was executed in 1484 after he pinned to the door of St Paul's Cathedral the rhyme The cat, the rat and love our dog rule all England under a hog? Thomas Conyers? No, William Collingbourne. What was the name of the prominent noble who was arrested at the Tower of London on the 13th of June 1483 and summarily executed, supposedly for plotting against Richard? 
William Lord Hastings. Yes, around what hill is Richard's army believed to have pitched camp the night before the Battle of Bosworth? Ambien Hill. Yep. At the Battle of Bosworth, Richard was killed after he led a cavalry charge directly at Henry Tudor and is said to have thrust to the ground with great force a six-foot, eight-inch tall knight. What was his name? John Chain. Yes. In which church was Richard's body buried three days after the Battle of Bosworth? His remains were discovered under a car park in 2012. Greyfriars Church. Yep. The discovery of his remains revealed that he had a medical condition that resulted in curvature of the spine. What condition? Scoliosis. Yes. What was the name of the brother of the Mayor of London who is said to have preached a sermon at St Paul's Cross in which he claimed that Edward IV had been illegitimate? Ralph Shaw. Yep. In 1483, who helped Richard to gain the throne but later that year rebelled against him? Richard referred to him as the most untrue creature living in a letter to the Lord Chancellor, John Russell. The Duke of Buckingham. Yep, Henry Stafford. The Duke of Buckingham was beheaded in November 1483 after the failure of the rebellion against Richard. In which city was he executed? Salisbury. Is correct. In no passes, Leslie. You have 14 points. <laughs> Next contender, please. And your name is? Phil Robinson. Your occupation? Trainee counsellor. And your chosen subject? The England rugby team since 1945. For the team, they never let us forget it, that won the World Cup, of course, in 2003. Here we go, two minutes. Who became England's youngest captain for 57 years when he led the side to victory against Australia in November 1988 at the age of 22? Will Carling. Yes, what famous England rugby anthem was first heard from a Twickenham crowd during the side's 1988 victory over Ireland in the final game of that season's Five Nations? Swing low, sweet chariot. Yes. Who became the first England player to have played both before and after the war when he played in the 1947 fixture against Wales, England's first official post-war international? Dickie Guest. Yep. At what stage of the 2011 Rugby World Cup were England knocked out by France? They lost 1912. Quarter-final. Yes. In 1975, Mike Burton became the first England player to be sent off in an international fixture because of a late tackle on which Australian player? Garrick Fay. Doug Osborne. Rory Underwood scored five tries against which country in November 1989? Fiji. Yep. Whom did the RFU appoint as England's team manager in 1969? He was the first head coach of the national side. Pass. In a 2002 match against Argentina, Phil Vickery became the first player from his club to captain the England side. Which club? Gloucester. Yep. At which Sydney ground did England play their first World Cup match in 1987? They lost the game 19-6 to co-hosts Australia. The Ballymore Oval? No, the Concord Oval. In Rome in 2000, who became the first England forward in 129 years of Test rugby to score a drop goal? Neil Back. Yes. Which New Zealand winger scored four tries against England in the 1995 World Cup semi-final? Jonah Lomu. Yes. Who played in all of England's games in the 1979 Five Nations and, aside from one Mike Slayman try, scored all of their points in the competition? Neil Bennett. Yep. Yeah. Who was the only England player, other than Johnny Wilkinson, to score in the 2003 Rugby World Cup final victory against Australia? Jason Robinson. Yep. Yeah. England equalled New Zealand's record of 18 consecutive victories in March 2017. Against which team did this run begin in October 2015? Uruguay. Yep. Yeah. Who became England's oldest try scorer at the age of 36 in the 2015 Six Nations match against Italy? Nick Easter. Is correct. You had just one pass. The chap the RFU appointed as England's team manager in 69 was Don White. That one pass, Phil, you have scored 12 points. <laughs> and our final contender, please. Rachel Charman. Your occupation? Lecturer. And your chosen subject? The novels of Nancy Mitford. Nancy Mitford, the oldest of the six Mitford sisters in your thing, or two about how posh people live. Here we go. <laughs> two minutes, starting now. Death to the horrible counter-ons is the battle cry of the children of what family in the pursuit of love? 
um, the Oakenley family. Yes, the Randlets. When Paul Fotheringay first arrives at Compton Bobbin in Gloucestershire in Christmas pudding, the hunting season has been interrupted because of an outbreak of what viral disease? Foot and mouth. Yep. What nickname did the Radlett children give to Boy Dugdale in Love in a Cold Climate after a lecture he'd given at Aunt Sadie's Women's Institute? The lecturer's lecturer. Yes. Which French city did Linda Radlett and her second husband Christian Talbot go to in 1939 in the pursuit of love in order to help refugees from the Spanish Civil War? Pepignon. Correct. What is the name of the organisation founded and led by Brother Bones that Luke Garfield joined in Pigeon Pies, described as one of those new religions which are wafted to us every six months or so across the Atlantic? The Boston Brotherhood. Yep. In Wigs on the Green, to what tune does Eugenia Malmain often sing the words Union Jack shirts up and at and push their faces in the mud? Land of Hope and Glory. Deutschland über alles. At great personal danger, Albert Gates manages to save two portraits by his favourite artist from the fire of Dalach Castle. Who's the artist? Winterhalter. Yep. What is the name of the asylum where lunatic peers of the realm are allowed to live out their years in peace in Wigs on the Green? Piersmont. Yes. In Love in a Cold Climate, Lord Mondor is said to be the finest player in the British Isles. Of which indoor game? Billiards. Yep. Eugenia Mama refers disparagingly to her grandmother, Lady Shalford, as T-P-O-F. What do the letters stand for? The poor old female. Yes, whose ideal hero in Pigeon Pie was originally a suave, perhaps slightly bald, enormously cultivated diplomat. Sophia Garfield. Yes. Which old suburban theatre is owned and run by Ed Spain in The Blessing? The Royal George. Yep. What is the forename of the daughter of Lady Bobbin, whose engagement to the Marquis of Lewis is announced in The Times at the end of Christmas pudding? Philadelphia. Correct. Who was Lord Fort William's best man at his wedding to Louisa Radlett in the pursuit of love? Lord Paddington. Lord Stromboli. In Don't Tell Alfred, which newspaper had been bought by a press peer known to the world as Old Grumpy and now reflected his jaundiced view of life? Um, the Daily Post. Daily Post is correct. Rachel, no passes, 13 points. Thank you. Time to invite all our contenders back into the studio together. It is the general knowledge round now, of course. Two and a half minutes of questions this time, and if there's a tie at the end of it, then the person with the fewer passes is the winner, and if they're tied on passes as well, there has to be a tie break. The six highest scoring runners up will be able to claim a place in the semi final. So, plenty to play for. Uh, now, because they haven't seen each other's specialist subject rounds, the contenders only know what they have scored themselves. So, for everyone at home, let's have a look at all the scores. As always, we start with the contender with the lower score. Let me ask Phil to join us, please. Not that 12 is a low score, but that's what you have at the moment. Two and a half minutes of general knowledge starting now. What is the name of the ninth month of the Muslim calendar during which the faithful must fast from dawn to dusk? Ramadan. Yep. What name is used in astronomy for the nebula M1 because of its supposed resemblance to a crustacean? Pass. Whose eyes feature in the title and the lyrics of the song that gave Kim Carnes a number 10 hit in the UK singles chart in 1981? Betty Davis. Yes. What island in the Tyrrhenian Sea that lies between Corsica and the Italian mainland is the largest in the Tuscan archipelago? It was home to Napoleon Bonaparte for 10 months. Elba. Yep. Who won the 1953 Nobel Prize for Literature while serving as British Prime Minister? Winston Churchill. Yes. The British thriller writer Edgar Wallace died in Hollywood in 1932 while he was working on the story of a classic horror film released the following year. What film? Dracula. King Kong. The demon Lilith is described in some versions of Jewish folklore as the first wife of a biblical character. Which one? Pass. Who plays Michael Corleone's all-American wife Kay in the 1974 film The Godfather Part Two? Diane Keaton. Yes. The common pipistrelle is the smallest and most numerous species of a mammal native to Britain. What mammal? Pass. What name is given to a rotating rod on which meat or poultry is cooked, either in an oven or over an open fire? Pass. What is the name of the neo-impressionist painting technique that uses dots of pure colour that, when seen from a distance, are blended by the viewer's eye? It's sometimes known as divisionism. Pass. Which former New York City nightclub was the centre of the 1970s disco scene? Its name referred to its previous use for CBS radio and television broadcasts and its location. Studio 54. Yes. What earldom did Richard Neville succeed to through his wife Anne Beecham in 1449? He was known as the Kingmaker. 
uh, Earl of Warwick. Yes. What is the name of the seven times winner of the World Professional Snooker Championship who became its youngest winner in 1990? Stephen Hendry. Yes. In a dictionary, what do the initials LL stand for in the context of the origin of a word? Pass. David Ben-Gurion became the first Prime Minister of which Middle Eastern country in 1948? Israel. Yes. What word for an elephant's trunk is also the name of the elongated snout of other animals such as the tapir, the elephant seal and a species of monkey? Pass. What is the name of the loop of leather that a scout scarf is threaded through? A woggle. Yes. In which South American capital city is the Teatro Colón Opera House famous for its exceptional acoustics and architectural grandeur? Lima. Buenos Aires. And you're out of time. You had seven passes. Probosis is the word for the elephant's trunk. Low Latin is what LL stands for. Pointillism is that neo-impressionist painting technique. Spit, as you know, is the rotating rod. You knew that, didn't you? Yeah. The bat is the common uh, pipistrel, the most uh, numerous species of mammal in Britain. Lilith was the first wife of Adam, apparently, and the nebula M1, the crab nebula. Yeah. You have now filled a total of 22 points. <laughs> and now, Rachel again, please. And uh, you start out with 13 points. And 22, as you have just heard, is now the score to beat. Let's see if you can do it. Here we go. Which sign of the zodiac is also known as the scales? Libra. Yes. What is the surname of the brothers who contested the Labour Party leadership election in 2010? Miliband. Yep. Who wrote the one-act play that formed the basis of Richard Strauss's opera Salome? Pass. What is the common name for the human reflex action used to clear the body's airways? In medicine, antitussive drugs are administered to suppress it. Uh, pass. Which Scottish football club was relegated to the fourth tier in 2012 after financial irregularities but regained their place in the top division in 2016? Celtic. Rangers. Which French composer wrote the incidental music for Alphonse Daudet's 1872 play La Glaisienne when the play was a flop he turned it into a concert suite? Foray. Bizet. What name was given in the Middle Ages to a person licensed to sell papal indulgences? Pass. Which sparkling red wine is made principally in the region around the Italian city of Modena in the Po Valley? Pass. The words of the Christmas carol Silent Night were originally written in what language? German. Yes. Who plays Edina's mother in the television comedy series Absolutely Fabulous? June Whitfield. Yes. Which city in southwest England tried to atone for its role in the Civil War by giving Charles II a jewel encrusted salt container in the shape of a fantasy castle at his coronation? Exeter. Yes. What is the common English name of the bird family Corvidae? Crows. Yeah. Which city is India's leading financial centre? Its stock exchange is known by the initials BSE. Uh, Mumbai. Yes. The Norwegian diplomat Trivelier became an international organization's first elected secretary general in 1946. Which organization? UN. Yes. Which group's first UK top ten hit was the chart topping I'm a Believer and their fourth and last Daydream Believer all in 1967? Beach Boys. The Monkees. Who plays Miss Moneypenny in the first 14 James Bond films? Pass. In which North Yorkshire seaside resort is Peaseham Park, where naval battles with model ships up to 20 feet in length have been reenacted on its artificial lake every summer for over 90 years? Scarborough. Yes. What name of Old English or Germanic origin is given to a person who works with metals? It's often used in combination with the name of the metal, such as gold or silver. Smith. Yes. What decisive battle of the Second World War was fought in Egypt between the 23rd of October and the 4th of November 1942? Pass. Which crime-fighting superhero made his debut in issue 27 of the American comic book series Detective Comics in May 1939? Uh, Spider-Man. Batman. Which all-girl group, including founder member Keisha Buchanan, had their sixth and last UK number one single in 2007 with About You Now? Pass. Well, I can tell you because you're out of time. Sugar Babes and your other passes. It was the uh, second battle of El Alamein in 1942. Miss Money Penny, otherwise known as Louise, or Lois Maxwell. That sparkling red wine, Lambrusco. The Pardoner was the chap who was licensed to sell papal indulgences. Coughing is cleared with antitussive drugs. And Oscar Wilde wrote Salome. You've got, Rachel, now a total of 23 points. And now, in this very tight contest, Oliver. 
And you start with 14 points, 23, the score to beat, two and a half minutes to do it or not. Here we go. What name is given to the pouch worn around the waist so as to hang in front of the kilt in traditional Highland dress? Sporran. Yep. Which American female singer-songwriter had top ten singles in September 2017 with both Look What You Made Me Do and Ready For It? Taylor Swift. Yep. In Greek mythology, who went into the underworld in an attempt to bring his wife Eurydice back to life? His adventures inspired an operetta by Offenbach. Orpheus. Yep. In the 18th century, the French scientist René Romeur proposed a scale with key points at 0 and 80. What did his scale measure? Temperature. Yep. What rhyming name was given to the spell of bitter winter weather of Siberian origin that hit Britain at the end of February 2018? Uh, big freeze. The beast from the east. Life to the limit is the 2017 autobiography of a British former racing driver who was Formula One world champion in 2009. What's his name? Jensen Button. Yep. Dr Samuel Johnson wrote, The noblest prospect which a Scotchman ever sees is the high road that leads him to... Where? England? Yes. Which two-word phrase has been used extensively by President Trump, especially in his tweets, to discredit stories in the media and insinuate they're not true? Fake news. Yep. Which royal palace in London was almost entirely destroyed by fire in 1698? The only complete building that survived was Inigo Jones's banqueting house. Windsor Palace. Whitehall Palace. Since 2004, the annual American football Super Bowl match has been held in what month? July? February. Which former Prime Minister was MP for Highton on Merseyside for 26 years before his elevation to the peerage in 1983? Uh, Callaghan. Harold Wilson. Manumission is the freeing of a person from what type of servitude? Slavery? Yes. In which 2003 Coen Brothers film does George Clooney play Miles Massey, a high-powered divorce lawyer, opposite Catherine Zeta-Jones, as an unfaithful wife? Intolerable cruelty? Yes. In Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy, what's the name of the robot with the nickname the Paranoid Android? Marvin. Yes. How is the French dish Cuisse de Grenouille usually referred to in English? Fox Lex. Yep. In which town in Greater Manchester did Martin Appleton Clare retain his title as world pie-eating champion in December 2017? Oldham. Wigan. The modern standard form of the language of one of the countries of Europe is often known as Castilian. Which country? Span uh, Spain. Yes. To what family of marine mammals do the killer and the pilot whale belong? They're both toothed whales. Shark. Dolphin. Johann Strauss the Elder composed a march in 1848 in honour of an Austrian field marshal whose military triumphs made him a national hero. Who was he? Franz Ferdinand. No, Radetzky. What is the name of the French region and national park that makes up the delta of the River Rhone? It is famed for its bulls, wild horses and migrating birds. Uh, Loire Valley. The Camargue. No passes. 26 points. And finally, Leslie. And like Oliver, you start this round, or like Oliver did, start this round with 14 points, 26 the score to beat. Here we go. The large bodies of water called Superior, Huron, Erie, Michigan and Ontario in North America are collectively known by what name? The Great Lake. Yes, which saint gives his name to a hostel on a pass in the Alps and a breed of dog that have worked there as rescue dogs for more than 300 years? Saint Bernard. Yes, Viscount Trenchard, who died in 1956, has been described as the father of one of Britain's armed services. Which one? Pass. What work of 1848 closes with the exhortation, proletarians of all countries unite, sometimes rendered as workers of the world unite? Pass. Which American brothers had their fourth and last UK number one single with Temptation in 1961? The Everly Brothers. Yes, the narrow gauge rack and pinion railway to the top of Mount Snowdon sets off from which railway station? Clanberries. Yes, the drowned city of East is part of the mythology of an ethnic or cultural group of northern France. What group? Pass. Jewellery made from a precious metal with the chemical symbol PD has required a hallmark since 2010. Which metal? Platinum. Palladium. Who wrote the novels Paradise Postponed and its sequel Titmus Regained about an ambitious Conservative MP in Margaret Thatcher's Britain? Pass. The origin of what game in its modern form is generally dated back to a match played on the frozen Kingston Harbour in Canada in 1860? Ice hockey? Yep. What is the title of the lifestyle television series first broadcast in 2002 where a team of presenters help potential buyers find their dream home in rural Britain? Escape to the country. Yes. Which town in the historic county of Berkshire gives its name to a thick brown soup? Pass. 
What word for a state of complete disorder or chaos comes from the Greek for without a ruler? Pass. Which Caribbean island country has the Blue Mountains as its principal mountain range and the Black River as one of its major waterways? Jamaica. Yes. Who won his two Best Actor Oscars in consecutive years for his roles in Captain's Courageous and Boys Town? Pass. What do the initials MSP after the name of a political figure stand for? Member of the Scottish Parliament. Yes. The composers Elliot Carter, Samuel Barber, Steve Reich and John Cage were all born in which country? The USA? Yes. Which artist, born in Florence in around 1455, painted works including Primavera and The Birth of Venus? Um, the path. In what palace on the banks of the Thames were Henry VIII and his daughters Mary I and Elizabeth I all born? Hampton Court. Greenwich. Eight passes? They were. And you'll be cross with yourself about <laughs> some of them. Which artist born in Florence, 1455, Primavera Botticelli? Yeah. Spencer Tracy played Captain Captain's Courageous in Boys Town. Anarchy comes from the Greek for without a ruler. Windsor gives its name to the thick brown soup. John Mortimer wrote Paradise Postponed, etc. The Communist Manifesto begins with Workers of the World Unite. The drowned city of East is part of the mythology of the Bretons and Viscount Trenchard is regarded as the father of the RAF. Eight passes, Leslie, 23 points, which means good score, but it means not enough to beat our winner tonight, Oliver. So, let's have a reminder of all the scores in this very close contest. Fourth place, 22 points, Phil. Joint second place, 23 points, a piece, Leslie and Rachel. First place, 26 points, Oliver. So, therefore, he goes through to the semi-finals. Congratulations to him. <laughs> And if you would like to be a contender in the next series, do go to our website, bbc.co.uk stroke mastermind, and you can follow us on Twitter at Mastermind Quiz. And do join us again next time for more Masterminds. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.